Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Uh, I need to borrow about a hundred and twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. It's not for me. You take it's a for a friend. Take a check. Uh, yes. In fact, here's make it out to Lisa mm -hmm. Marie Presley. Okay. All right. And in the bottom down there, yeah, where it says memo, yeah, put she's broke. Rut row. We're gonna tell you more next. on men are so smart. Lisa Marie Presley isn't the only member of her extended world who's broke. So is the Elvis Presley Foundation. On the eve of the 41st anniversary of the star's death, which is tomorrow, yeah. his legacy for being charitable is pretty much in shreds. The most recent filing for the Elvis Presley Foundation shows that they have just $38,384 as the value of all their assets. Woohoo! I've got more money than Elvis. Yeah, you do. <laughs> can never say that before. Uh, tickets and merchandise sales from Graceland are supposed to fund the foundation, but in 2016-2017, foundation received only $12,731 in donations. Something's wrong there. That it smells a little fishy. Uh, that seems wrong. Uh, the foundation dispersed $40,000 to a group of local Memphis charities in 2016. So Lisa Marie Presley personally says she's broke and is suing her former advisors for eight hundred grand. It's quite a saga. She sold 85% of her interest in Elvis Presley Enterprises. For a hundred million back in uh, 05. Uh, that was probably a good call. Lisa Marie says it's all gone oh. thanks to bad investments. Reports say she owes back taxes of $10 million from 2012 to 2017. In February, she said she was $16 million in debt. That's too bad. Uh, the foundation has been in decline for some time, but in 2007, the total value of assets was $400,000. Uh, by 2012, the value was down to just $18,804. Yeah, that's pretty sad. That is huge. You know what I think it is partly, Ronnie? We're, let's make a comparison between the Beatles and Elvis here because that was going on at that time. Right. The Beatles, 99% of the time, wrote and performed all of their songs in their catalog. Right. Elvis, conversely, recorded other people's songs. Right. And so though record sales, even after his death, posthumously have made money, uh, not as much as, say, the Beatles catalog would because they have the writing credits. Right. Well, and then you also have to look at the age difference of the fans. So I would say that the Beatles fan base is pretty widespread. Both my kids know many Beatles songs, but I would say, by and large, Beatles fans are 50 to 70 years old, whereas Elvis fans are probably 70 years old and older. So he's losing fans at a pretty quick rate. Um, whereas obviously Beatles fans, uh, like I've, I think I've made both of my kids into somewhat of Beatles fans through that, osmosis, right? Yeah. So just through listening to them. Well, uh, you know, with Elvis Presley, he was kind of a guy that released singles. True enough. And wasn't so much an album guy, although maybe he had a lot of gospel albums. Yeah. Um, but primarily he would release singles that would go absolutely crazy. And um, I found a story, Ronnie, that I thought was particularly interesting. It's from one year ago, and it's from the UK. It's a question that I get asked a lot. Um, Are you dead? <laughs> you no. Know, uh, because of having been a DJ playing all these music for so long, people ask me, do you think Elvis is still alive? Well, you know, if you believe in spaceships and Bigfoot, uh, I suppose to an extent there is potential. 
Uh, if Elvis is alive, Michael Jackson is probably still alive, too. At first or even second glance, he may not be a dead ringer for Elvis, but growing numbers of people are posting videos of him online amid claims the long-held myth the king never actually died 40 years ago tomorrow uh, is true at all. Uh, as celebrities who are not really dead conspiracy theories go, it's just one of the longest running ones and certainly the most famous. Yeah. Uh, the old Elvis has left the building. Right. Uh, but ever since Elvis Presley's death was announced on August 16th, 1977, when he was just 42 years old, there have been countless theories that he faked his own death uh, instead and instead just disappeared. The official cause of death was not given, but it is believed to have been an overdose of prescription drugs that caused heart failure. I think it was a culmination of a lot of things, Ron, he, including diet. Yeah. Uh, and over the years, there have been scores of alleged sightings and pictures that have surfaced, many of which looked like pictures of some of the many Elvis impersonators across the globe. Ronnie, you were just in Reno last weekend. I was in Reno and Elvis was in my hotel. No kidding. Yeah, I have a picture. Vicky took a picture of him. Then he's alive. He's alive. Here's that picture. That proves it. There right he there. is. He's alive and well. Ronnie, I mean, how could you dispute that picture? <laughs> and your wife took it. She's a credible source. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there it is. Um, more recently, uh, attention has turned to a ponytailed, gray-haired groundsman working at Graceland. <laughs> Uh, and Elvis's former residence in Memphis, Tennessee. Have you ever been to Graceland? No, I'm sorry, I haven't. It's amazing. Really? It really is amazing. And I would encourage everyone to go there. It's The house is really beautiful, and the grounds are beautiful. Um, I haven't been in quite a few years now. But it's whatever the tour price is, it's well worth it. They have one hallway where they have a lot of his the outfits that he wore, you know, Elvis from Hawaii and, and all those. It really is stunning, and everything in there is very well preserved. Um, again, it's it's something that should be on everybody's bucket list. Video clips of the man recorded in June last year at the 13.8 acre estate, which now houses a museum, have been posted on YouTube with responses divided as to whether it could really be the king at age 81. In a description of such one such video, where the suspected Elvis holds two fingers towards the camera. YouTube channel The Shadow said, pay close attention as he walks up to the camera. Yeah, uh, look this, look this was a fluke. I don't think he expected us to be watching or maybe he just took a chance because he doesn't usually come so close to the camera. I'll show you this picture that we're looking at that's in the story. Uh, Ooh. It's kind of a stretch of the imagination for sure. Yeah. Here it is. I mean... Uh, he raises two fingers to the top of his left head as proof of life signal. No. He told us he is alive with the simple V sign. I'm alive. He's giving us a clue that he knows we are all there watching him and to his most loyal fans that he is indeed with us. People. People. Elvis has left the building. Come I'm on. sorry. Come on. Uh, the, uh, the site speculated Elvis has even visited Graceland as part of the rally for Harley Davidson motorbikes. Uh, it added there is a Harley r uh, rally which goes on every year in Memphis. One of the things they do is drive over to Graceland for a photo shoot. And it is our belief that Elvis is there helping out. He loves Harleys. Well, he's got that uh, flathead. True. And he's got that bobber. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know my Harleys. <laughs> Tail well, fin. Or they do have a Harley called a Fat Boy. Fat Boy. That's what so, I was looking for. Yeah, those those Elvis years. Fat, fat Boy Elvis. <laughs> Despite the channel being given an identity for the man, it has refused to accept this and disputed who others have said he is. The Shadow added... Our personal view is it's him. When you look at his walk and gait, long arms, it's 100% Elvis. As he approaches, he looks at the camera. As he walks away, he glances at the camera. Elvis broke a finger on his right hand at age 25, which left a noticeable change. Mm. 
Well, there you have it. Proof. Undisputable. Oh, yeah. Okay. Undisputable. All this is alive. Broken finger. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. Because yeah. nobody else in the world's ever broken a right finger. Nope, not me. No. <laughs> yeah, that's some. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Maybe I'm Elvis and I don't know it. Mm, yeah, I'm going to say nah. I'm loving this story, Ronnie. Let's go on. Uh, the channel added. Oh, yeah. We tried to look at his right hand to see the pinky finger. But he kept three fingers folded back as if to hide it. But YouTube viewer Clarissa Mutlag, with a great name, claimed to spot a match on the man. Uh, she posted, look, the pinky finger of his right hand. Welcome back. You're welcome. You're welcome very much. <laughs> uh, let's see. Then the channel also added, we confirmed with a few sources that used to work at Graceland that it's him. Wow, so they've confirmed it. Oh, well, it's got to be true. <laughs> as soon as they saw the images we sent, they wrote back and said, yes, it is him, uh, as they remember him with the exact same ponytail. Well, you can't you can't dispute that. You know how I feel about men with ponytails. Because <laughs> you just can't grow a ponytail. Nobody can just grow a ponytail. One said he had gained weight. But to be fair, Elvis did love food. And always had a problem with gaining weight, so this should not be a surprise. Plus, the guy's 81 years old. You yeah, know? cut him some slack. Sure, he's getting Social Security. Yeah. So we can cut him some slack. It's okay, Elvis. You're entitled. We still love you just the way you are. Absolutely. A number of websites and social media pages are now pushing the theory that it is him, but many have pointed, that, have pointed out that he's, he's just too short. Uh, YouTuber... Shauna posted, I suspect the two fingers is sign signifying two months from now and that Elvis Week t-shirt is another clue. Hmm. I don't know. However, conspiracy theorists will be upset after the mystery ponytailed gray-haired Elvis was tracked down and he himself denied being the aging king. Well, that's what Elvis would do. That's exactly what he would do. Yeah, he'd deny the whole thing. Why would he carry on the ruse this long just yeah, to give it up? right. Yeah. He's been doing it way too long. In a YouTube video entitled News Proof, Elvis Presley Graceland Groundsman filmed is not Elvis Presley. Whew. The man who is a groundsman at Elvis's former mansion in Graceland uh, in Memphis, Tennessee, denies, I'm not a guy. I'm not uh, him. I saw me. In the, clip, in the clip, the man appears to have been grabbed by a woman a young blonde woman. The only kind. Who, who was following the story. She says in the video, Okay, hi everybody. This is a famous groundskeeper that everyone thinks is Elvis. I found him here in Memphis. The man interjects, I'm not really 81, okay? <laughs> I literally found him. The name is Bill. He says, I'm like a Pokemon Go guy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, then he mocks the conspiracy theory by placing two fingers at the side of his head something he had done while being filmed at Graceland and which believers had said was a sign he was giving that many, uh, that he really was Elvis. I know it was. You know, I got to tell you. This is so Elvis-like. It is. This groundskeeper, I picture Elvis with a weed eater <laughs> <laughs> and safety goggles on. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sammy. Uh, I gotta go in the house. I gotta get me a peanut butter sandwich. Oh boy, a uh, peanut butter sandwich. I'm, I, but like I said, I did see Elvis just yesterday. So, and how is he? He looks great. Uh, he has lost. He said about thirty pounds. Oh, good. Yeah. So he's probably on that keto diet. Yeah, well, he's going back to skinny Elvis. <laughs> he started being fat Elvis, so he's going back to skinny Elvis. Yeah, I wonder if he'll get to Hawaii Elvis. Ooh, yeah. That was the best Elvis. That was that was great. That whole show, that was man. Oh man. Oh man, he killed it. He was an entertainer. All right. Well, you know what? <laughs> We may be guilty of talking about conspiracy theories from time to time, but we sure get a kick out of this story. And no matter how hard you try to convince either one of us, Elvis is not with us. He's not coming back. He is not. No. I do remember that day on August 16th, 1977, I was walking in the house from something, maybe it was band practice or something or other, and my mom was crying. Yep. And she could barely even get the words out that Elvis was dead. It was huge. I was I was working at uh, the back room at Savings Center, and on we used to listen to FM 108, 
and the announcer came on and said Elvis Presley has died. And I thought, wow, it's like a JFK moment. You remember where you were uh, when you heard that Elvis was dead. You know, I still, uh, speaking of, I still remember where I was when I heard that Michael Jackson was dead. And it was so strange because first they just said he's being rushed to the hospital. Right. And, and, and that was kind of a red flag for anyone who was within the sound of radio speakers. But then a lot of time went by, Ronnie. Yeah. And nothing was being said. Yeah. And as more time went by, the more I thought, this is it. This is the real deal. Yeah. And then sure enough, I remember Don St. John was on 101.1 here in Sacramento. And he came on and said that it was official Michael Jackson was dead. And I remember exactly where I was. I was managing and creating an auto parts in Antelope, California. Yep. Yep. So it's weird how you remember these things. Yep. But again, I reiterate, for those of you who believe that Elvis didn't pass in 77, it's time to cut that ponytail. Move on to the next conspiracy. Please do. <laughs> we got a conspiracy theory for you. Get a hold of us. Yeah. All right. That'll do it for us. If you've enjoyed this uh Elvis Presley slash Lisa Marie Presley episode and update. We hope that you'll like the episode. We also hope that you'll subscribe to our channel. Leave some comments. Uh, we love the comments. We're very interactive. You know, some shows that you watch here on, on YouTube, you might send a comment to the host. You never even hear back. Right. With us, we, rep we reply sometimes within five minutes. Yep. You know, as soon as we get it, if we have available moment, we're there. So we care about our subscribers, and we care about your comments, and give us a chance, we'll prove it to you. Subscribe to our channel. That's it, Ronnie. we got to get out of here. That's all we got. You know how I always say we're up against the clock? Yeah. We don't have a clock. <laughs> That's true. We could go as long as we want, but we're done. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Lou Gallagher. Uh -huh. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> See you on the next show.